Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Everybody Panic! So, the Overdress stream finally happened, and oh boy, do people have opinions. <laughs> people are hyped, people are scared, people are pissed, people are nervous, people are confused, and honestly, I think all of those emotions are pretty valid. Uh, me, personally, I'm pretty hyped. I'm really excited to see the direction they're taking with this. Um, a lot of these changes I feel are pretty necessary, and if you feel spurned or slighted in that another reboot slash rotation is happening, I understand, even if I don't necessarily agree. I also don't necessarily re like rotation, and I feel like that's kind of obvious considering my whole channel is focused on the premium format. And maybe that's why I don't really care about this rotation that much. I, I, do, I do think that rotations are important for a game in the long term to stay healthy, just as long as there is an eternal format to go along with it. I only think these rotation things work if you have an eternal format, and right now I feel like premium is in a pretty great spot. The competitive scene is incredibly diverse and decks last such a long time in the format and that's really great. And the casual side of things as well is also incredibly fun. I think some of the most fun you can have playing Vanguard, and this is just my personal opinion, is playing just casual games of premium with just whatever you decided to build in the format because just about almost anything can be viable and you'll at least have a playable deck I honestly think this move is the best thing they could have done, and I also think it should have happened a while ago. I know a lot of people are kind of echoing the same sentiment of 24 clans was way too much. I was also one of those people. And now consolidating it down to like five or I guess six if you consider the whale Bermuda clan, that's going to be way more easy to support in the long term, and it's going to be way easier to keep those five, six clans balanced than it is to keep... or clans, nations, balanced than it is to keep 24 clans balanced. As a Nova Grappler main myself, I have been living with the reality that I get support once a year since like 2014. So with the exception of things like premium collections and uh, fighters collections and stuff like that. Now, obviously I'm mainly just going to talk about a lot of this information and how it pertains to premium. And the main thing I wanna get out of the way first is regardless of how you feel about rotation, I, if you don't like it, I think that's perfectly fine. I think that's fair. Uh, if you do like it, I also think that's fair. I think it's honestly very important to have that because it makes it easier for new players to get into the game. And you can say what you will about the last reboot or this reboot, but the fact is is that a ton of new people joined the game with the reboot. And you might even be one of those people who's currently salty about the fact that the game's rebooting again. But I, I do think that it's in general a good thing just as long as we still have premium. Now, that also brings along with it the announcement of this V premium thing. and. I guess if you're a current standard player, I don't know how you feel about that. Me personally, I'm not wild about it. I, I honestly think it's kind of a dumb idea, especially since a lot of the grievances people have with the game and with Bushiroad are over this past year and what standard has been and how power creeped it has been. And so to me, in my mind right now, I'm just like, why would you want more of that? I think it's also important to note that if you want to use the new overdress cards, it appears like you can't use overdress cards in V premium. So if you want to play with overdress cards and everything else, well, premiums here for you. You can mix everything there. I think they said that can mix the corresponding nation with whatever clan deck you have. So if you're like me and a Nova Grappler main, a lot of that Brant gate stuff is going to be going into your deck. It doesn't mean that you can now all of a sudden mix Dimension Police and Nova Grappler and Link Joker in premium. You still have the 24 clans in premium with the new support. It just goes with whatever clan is associated with that nation. One of the most exciting things I saw from this whole thing and probably you thought was too is the ride deck. That's really cool. Unfortunately, as a mainly premium player, you don't have access to the ride deck in premium and honestly I, I think that's kind of fair. I was a little excited at the prospect of being able to deck build with having guaranteed rides for every single grade in the deck but I, I understand why they didn't do it. The other thing that has people in a bit of a stir is the new over trigger and yeah no that's kind of weird. Um, looking at it 
realistically, how often are you going to be triggering this in a game? Now, I'm not saying that it's not going to happen. It will absolutely happen where you're going for a final turn, your opponent hits their one of over trigger, and you probably lose the game because of it. That will happen. But just looking at it realistically, I just don't see it happening that often just because the the odds of hitting it on a specific drive or damage check just seem just really really low and again not saying it's not going to happen but i feel like more often than not it's really not going to be that big of a deal of course maybe i'm wrong maybe uh this is me trying to rationalize it and make it okay in my mind but personally i don't see it being that big of a deal since it is only a one of and that's like assuming you don't draw into it into the game instead of drive checking it. So I don't know. I'm also not a big fan of it. If you're not a big fan of it, I understand it's a little weird, but hey, we got to have our gimmicks, right? So my honest prediction for what's going to happen is I feel like V premiums just not going to last. And, you know, maybe I'm wrong. I, I'll, I'll bite that bullet if I'm wrong, but it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, why would you play the format where you can only use V cards and you can't use any of the new overdress stuff? Why would you not just then take all that V premium support and the overdress support and just go play premium? So again, if you're upset, I understand. But I would also just like to say that the premium format is really, really fun. It's really, really great. And the community around premium will gladly welcome more players. So, and like me personally, I am all about helping people get into the format. That's part of the reason why I liked doing these deck profiles and doing mostly like off meta deck profiles that I've done just because I want people to kind of understand that for the most part, you can play just about whatever you want in premium. It may not be like tier one competitive, but you're going to have a good time playing it. And I think that's kind of important. So I mainly just want to put that out there that if, if you're a standard only player who is feeling burned by this rotation, premium formats here. It's got a very nice community around it, at least in my experience, and we will be more than happy to welcome you into that and help you build whatever deck you need or whatever you want to try out. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of people who would just be excited that there's people getting into premium. I understand that there's also a lot of people that have concerns about premium being like a broken format or I, I still hear people say, oh, it's only geese and there's not. Like there's barely any geese. I've been playing the premium format for basically its entirety. And I don't think I've ever once played against a geese player. <laughs> and even if you do, geese is honestly not that great in premium. It's honestly too slow because all of the V stuff is really, really fast. And the V stuff is playable in premium. So you can, you don't even need a G zone. You can honestly just take your current V deck and start playing premium. And to a certain point, I feel like you'll do pretty well. <laughs> there are so many decks in premium that, right now that are essentially just standard plus a G zone. And there are plenty of other decks that don't even care if they have a G zone or not. They can just play their standard game and they'll be fine. Also, with the last two premium collections, especially the 2020 premium collection, a lot of those cards feel like they were specifically designed to work with standard cards. And most of those really aren't that expensive either. That's the other myth I find people have about premium is that it's a very pricey format. And don't get me wrong, it can be, you know, you've got your Xeroth dragons that are, that demand a pretty high price, but I also don't think you necessarily even need to run Xeroth Dragon. So if that is a concern of yours, I just want you to know it's it's okay. You don't have to run Xeroth Dragons. If you honestly, I have decks with Xeroth Dragons, and most of the time, I don't actually ever go into them. Now, if you want them for like a tournament, having that like that toolbox nature of your G Zone to just have that one of, I think that can be kind of important. Don't feel like it's a necessity to have a Xeroth Dragon in whatever premium deck you're building, because it's honestly not. Other things I think they are doing right is uh, getting rid of VRs, having that extra special high rarity, I think is a good idea. And they've also said that they want to make it easier for cards to get. So we don't quite know what that means, but my mind immediately goes to something like Force of Will. I didn't play a lot of that game, but what I do remember is that cards were extremely cheap to get. And to a point where at a certain point it was too easy to get cards because people would just buy one box and then get a playset of everything they needed. And 
I don't think it should be that easy uh, because then you're going to screw over your game stores and that's not a good look for anybody. That's what happened with Force of Will because these stores would buy cases of stock and then all their players would come in, buy a fraction of it, get all they needed, and then it was done. I think they're doing the right thing by introducing these alternate rarities, which is something they've always had, and also the foil cards. It's sounding like they're going to do foil cards, which is very similar to things like in Magic and Pokemon because you, you can have a game where the cards are cheap and easy to get, and then you have your high rarity, alternate rarity, alt art, foiled, whatever, chase cards, and that will ultimately keep a lot of the secondary market afloat of people looking for those higher rarity cards. So far, I think that's just a great decision. I'm really happy with that. The main thing I'm just not down with is this three formats. Vanguard as a game could barely work with the two formats. Standard is always the most popular format, and that's understandable. It's the easiest to get into, and I think that's kind of by design. But premium was definitely no slouch. A lot of people see, I've seen people say that premium wasn't supported at all, and I'm just like, what are you talking about? <laughs> There was premium tournaments at every BCS. I went to, I played in multiple premium BCSs last year and we've gotten premium collections each year. Sure, it's not as popular in Japan, or at least it wasn't. Uh, people have been saying that recently Japan has been buying up premium staples, which is exciting you know, for me to see. I love seeing people get into the format, but it's always been a more Western format and with as big of a market as the Western format is for Bushiro, they'd be stupid to not continue supporting premium. All right. I. I don't think I've rambled enough. In conclusion, Vanguard is not dead. Don't sell your collections, but if you really want to, I can't stop you. Premium is always here. It's always been here, and the format will gladly welcome you if you are looking to get into it. But yeah, I guess that's all I have. Whatever. I'm excited. I'm hyped. We got Victor Dragon, and that's all I care about. Anyways, tell me what you think though. I, I'm very curious to see what people's opinions are, especially since I'm sure most of my audience is uh, very premium centered. So I'm curious to see what they think. They probably feel the same way I do. But if you happen to be a standard player who's now looking to premium because of this, I would love to know your thoughts as well. So please let me know. Um, you can even uh, follow me and tweet at me on Twitter and we'll talk there and just the shameless self plug there. Um, and then, you know, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Uh, Whatever. I gotta go to work. So, <laughs> till next time.